Hi, this is Salman from the Developer Dude. With another episode about TCEP scroll trigger. In this video, we will be focusing on controlling the opacity of element as a user scrolls by defining the start and end points. Let's dive into the code. Before starting this video, let's check out some of the websites. It will be easy to understand about how this opacity thing works. So uh, let's check this website. That is, this is one. This one is from uh, the GSAP. Let's check it out. So if you scroll down a bit, you will see a text is appearing. Yeah. This is another example. Faceink.com. I will also share these URLs with you. So now if you go down, let's see. See all the tiles. They are appearing on scroll. The all members appearing on scroll. This is another side. And if you see now all the team members is opacity from zero to one. So let's copy this, our previous project folder and make it tutorial two. Let me adjust those windows. And let's remove some of the code that we used previously. We don't need it. Also the styles. Let's change this blue color to Peru. Peachish Peru. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this is, this was the previous example. So x-axis is growing the tile. Make it scroll to go to. And this is about opacity. Let's ring the TS, our main file, and to square x axis removed. It's so because this square we are going to make it invisible initially, so opacity zero. Visibility hidden and auto alpha. Let's make it to one. So let's check into the browser. So when we scroll down. See. And we can also make this scroll trigger as an object. Let's make it an object. This is to view on the code on the website live server. So now you will see it will work same as before. Yes. Okay, now we can add. So the start point. Let's define it. It uses top center button as well as you can use like top 30%. So from the uh, viewport, it will use the start from the object to 30%. Also, if you add the marker true, now you can see how this thing works. If we scroll, can you can see the scroll start thing. When it touches the start, you will see our animation of opacity. Right, like this. It's beautiful. Like this. Okay, we can also style the markers. So let's make it an object and a start color. 
let's make it purple and end color make it black and indent means the position will be 400 we'll take almost to the middle font size let's make it 2 rem inverted commas sorry it will be huge let's check to our browser you can see so indent is 400 it's move it to uh, almost to the center actually from the right now see purple start is purple and is black and it's doing the same thing amazing beautiful so start is done now let's change the font size actually yeah and then to zero so it would be almost the same actually it's quite small let's yeah the text is so small let's make it to 1.5 rem that will be visible to you guys all so at the end point we can use a toggle plus make it red and comma let's define end from top 30 person twenty percent and let's make a red let's give a red a background color red so whenever our start point will touch the start it will change opacity as well as our uh, box color let's check it out that's amazing that's beautiful it's a red color and when we move from above it makes it to maroon that's great we can also change this and tag as a function on plus equals to plus this to dollar curly braces. Let's move it into back text. So it works like a function document dot query selector and we can name our class square and offset height I will share the documentation for offset height so you can read about it yeah let's make it the height to 300 first okay small so now our boxes of 300 pixels and the end position will be equals to the box size let's scroll down yeah so after refresh it was reflecting before it was cached and now you can see the box size is still end so now whatever the size of the box you will uh, put on css it will exactly position the end tag to it uh, if we if we check it with the scale the pixel size this one is 300 exactly the 300 pixels that we define in our CSS
what if we change it to 20VH so vertical height we are positioning it to 20 and now if we resize the screen the end tag will be exactly the height of the square Let's change the browser size so you will know it better. Scale it currently, it's like almost 200 pixels. If we reduce the size of the screen, oh, I'm sorry. Yep, scroll up. So you can see the end is, is, is of the size of the square. Let's check it on scale. It's almost 80, 78 pixels. That's actually how you can make it dynamic as well. So, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning GSAP. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.